Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to leaderonomics.com, the show, right? This is going to be a show where we talk about articles, videos, and other cool stuff from leaderonomics.com. And, um, you know, today joining me uh, on this show, um, I will be an awesome uh, person called Ashraf. So Ashraf, welcome to the show and uh, great to have you here. Leaders are born, not made. And uh, I think that's one of the, the taglines of leaderonomics.com, right Ashraf? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I'm more used to being on the back end rather than the front end. It's a bit, it's a bit uh, unusual, but uh, yeah, let's make this happen. Yep. And, and so yeah. Ashraf just introduced you, you know, everyone who's on the show. And if you are, you know, go down to the comments and say hi, welcome or whatever, uh, whatever comments that you want to say and let us know you're on the show. Um, but for those who are on, uh, leadermis.com is a website where you get all kinds of leadership content. And Ashraf uh, is our editor. So Mr. Editor. <laughs> What yeah, we're going to so talk about today? All any articles that you find on L.com uh, in the past year or so, it's my doing lah. So if they are bad, uh, oh wait. So you know, I, I don't work alone, obviously, right? I've got a team of people with me. So if they are bad, it's a good chance to you know pass pass the blame to to someone else. But if you find them good, if you find them interesting, then uh, okay lah. Chances are they did it as well. Okay, I'm just I'm just the poster boy at this point. <laughs> okay, there you go, leadermix.com. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, so today we're going to talk about some of the articles on leadermix.com. And I think one article I wrote many years ago um, was uh, around luck. Um, and we made a little video on that uh, a couple of years ago. I think in 2013, we made a little video um, on, on this article that was written called Luck. So we'll just show that little video. Um, and as we watch this video, when we come back, we will talk a bit about this whole article and what it essence is about. And you can also check it out. Uh, go to leeramis.com, you know, just look search for luck and you should be able to find or return on luck. You should be able to find the article. Um, so with that, yeah, leeramis.com. Uh, with that, the, our producer is going to put out our thing. Hey, Julia, guess what? The company sending you to the conference in Shanghai. Nice. nice. So lucky! Did you just go to the conference in Sydney about two months ago? Yes, but it was a lot of work. Actually, which reminds me, if I'm going to Shanghai, I better go polish off my notes. Catch you later. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Julia is so lucky. I never get to go to any of these conferences. First, it was Sydney. Then now Shanghai. She's so lucky. You know, some people just have all the luck, like Julia. I mean, we all do the same amount of work, and we get nothing. Oh my god, Jermaine can stop talking about Julia's luck. That's all she does. Wine, wine, wine. Instead of work, 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 she doesn't realize Julia does her job and she does it well. Yeah. It's no wonder the boss takes her to all these conferences. People think she's lucky, but she just has the right attitude. She's always humble, she's curious about learning new things, and she just takes challenges head on. Researchers Jan Harrington and Sia propose that there are two types of luck in this world. Luck you cannot affect, such as your family or blood type, and luck you can influence, like business success and career progress. They believe that most business luck is determined by you and the mindset that you carry. Remember, luck is as much about your attitude as it is about probability. So create your own luck. Now, here are some tips on how you can increase your luck at the office. Number one, be a believer. Believe that your future is going to be great, and it will. Number two, be action biased. Keep trying, and you'll ultimately succeed, and luck will be on your side. Number three, be aware of your surroundings, and continue to search for opportunities. And finally, never eat alone. Build and maintain a strong social network that may bring you new opportunities. Kat, do you hear? Julia just got lucky again. She's going for a course in Tokyo. 
Hey, Jermaine, if you spend more time working and proving yourself rather than complaining about Julian's luck, maybe the bosses would have taken notice and sent you to Tokyo. What are you trying to say? You don't think I work enough? Well, think about it. All those times you have spent talking and complaining about how lucky Julia is could have been spent seeking out opportunities. Hmm, she makes a good point. Okay, I shall create my own opportunities. Jermaine. Awesome work, excited? Yup, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be on this trip to Tokyo. You really inspired me. Well, you know what? Every day is a new day to seek opportunities. Now, you ready to kick ass in Tokyo? Yup, let's go. All right, so that, that was a short little video on, on luck. Um, and it was based on an article I wrote many, many years ago. Um, uh, on, on luck, uh, and, and it's called You Can Influence Your Return on Luck. Uh, and you can find that uh, from bit.ly, luck.rt. Uh, um, so, Ashraf, you know, we wanted to talk a little bit about the, the, the article, right? So, shoot away, man. Yes, okay. First, I need to note that those were some colorful dresses, man. Okay. Second, um, it's quite interesting luck that, that at the, by definition, right, luck most people might think of it as something that is by chance so you have no control over it that's that's the definition of it so you seem to take a different uh take on the matter like how did it start yeah so you know or, or, or really really originally right um mm. I, it, it really started with a conversation i had with this guy called Dato Sri idris jala so this is many many years ago and he was i think he was in malaysian airlines uh as the as the ceo of malaysian airlines and and he said something very interesting he said like you know there's all these steps uh to be full and to to do a massive turnaround and he said the most the last part uh, is what he called divine intervention and and i said tell me more about divine intervention and he said look i i think you can there are 40 percent of things uh, that you can control and work on. And then there are 60% of things that are beyond your control where you have very little influence. So he said, divine intervention is how you make that 60% that are beyond your control, um, influence that, right? So that it will be it will be influenced in a positive way. And he said the way to do that was really to be on the good side of the divine. And if you do that, <laughs> your luck will be better, right? So that that's, that's the... I, I would say that's a trigger conversation with with uh, okay. that was really at that point in time, and 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 I saw so I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, but I know a lot of criminals, and I know a lot of bad. Maybe I don't know criminals, but you know, I don't know a lot. I know a lot of bad people who are sure, very lucky, sure, sure. You know? mm -hmm. um, and we've got you know former prime ministers who still are not in prison somehow, you know, regardless of the billions taken and so on. So you know, you you say, look, how how, how you know, are you sure um, that that that's that's really the philosophy? And I started jumping in, and then it was Chinese New Year, right? Where mm. all these people started to say, "Oh, you know, good luck to you," and you know, you know, the Chinese are very interesting, right? Gong uh, Fa Chai is uh, is is like uh, make more money, and and you know, it's essentially about right. luck and okay. you know, increasing okay. the, the more red you wear, the more luckier you are, and this you and that. Prosperity lah, la, not luck. Prosperity. Well, yeah, la, but it's it's proper prosperity, luck. I mean, essentially, right. Uh, right. good luck is a big Chinese term uh, in itself, mm. la, right? And and that started me thinking about luck, and I so I started to do some research, right? Um. First, you know, I started to look at my own life because people many times say, I'm very lucky. You got this job in GE. You're very lucky. You got this. You're very lucky. You know, you're very lucky. Wow, somehow you're very lucky. You can come back to Malaysia. You know, not many people can do that, this and that. And and so I started reading, of course, biographies of famous people who are supposed to be lucky, right? And of course, the most famous quote, I, I think, of all time was by this guy, Thomas Jefferson, right? Who says, I'm a great believer in luck. And I find the harder I work, the more of it, the more of luck I have, right? Okay. Um, so then, I, again, you know, when the more you read to these guys, then you start re reading some research. And, and, and I, you know, in the video, we talked about Jan Harrington and, and Sia's research, right? He said there are two types of luck. Luck that you can affect, meaning uh, 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 luck that you can influence. And then the other luck is that luck that you cannot influence or affect, which is your, your genetics, your blood type, your, who your parents are, which country you're born in, and so on. And, and so he said, look, there is luck that you can influence, 
um, which which got me thinking, right? Wow, that's that's very interesting, right? You can actually influence luck, and so right. that's really the the starting point of um, that whole uh, uh, why the article came about. It's really about, ooh, uh, this is interesting. Um, you know, this guy says you can influence, and he says okay. you've got to be inside the divine, and that's how you do it. Um, but then as you start looking at all the research, the biographies and all these, you start to say, maybe there's something to this um, okay. more than, 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 than it's out there, you know? So being on the good side of the divine is, you know, it's, uh, can, we take, can we interpret that in more secular terms uh, for the average you average out there? What would that mean to you, being on the good side of the divine? Yeah, so so to me, I I I you know you know me right. I'm like okay, let me let me break it down. Even I I need to understand what it is, right? So you know, based based on this research done by by Jen Harrington and yeah, he's like you know he says, you know basically they say this business luck right can be influenced right, and and really part of it is that luck is much is is as much as about attitude as it as it is about probability. Because most of the time we, we talk about luck as probability, right? It's a probability that you will be lucky, you know, yes. and so on and so forth, yes. but. You know, depending on your attitude, right, you can actually be luckier, right? So many people who are lucky, right, if you think about their attitude, right, they have a lot of curiosity, they have some form of intellectual uh, uh, um, hum yeah, humility, intellectual curiosity. They, they're always somewhat optimistic, right? Um, you know, I just quote Dale Carnegie once said, happiness doesn't depend on external circumstances or condition. It is governed by our mental attitude, right? Um, and so one thing I found that was very interesting, and again, you know, if you talk to Tony Fernandez, yeah, he'll tell you, ah, you know, ah, 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 you know, the way, yeah, he'll say, ah, everybody, like everyone knew that Air Asia was available for sale for one dollar, and people always say, oh, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, right? But the reality is that, yeah, he's lucky in a sense to buy the right asset for one dollar. A lot of people could have bought, uh, you know, an asset for one dollar and then have a mountain of debt and then essentially be bankrupt in the process, right? Um, but but I think what happened was that he understood. I mean, his old boss was Richard Branson. He saw the he understood a little bit at least, uh, or at least he knew how to ask the right question. How the intellectual curiosity to see oh, what's happening in Europe with Ryanair and and, and oh look what uh, Herb Kelleher did with Southwest Airlines and 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 by doing that right, um, he was able to then bring luck lah. I mean, so people say oh you're lucky you bought it at one dollar right? right, but actually it's a it's a combination of attitude, intellectual curiosity. Um, you know, sort of uh, the, 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 the the humility to be to be asked questions, um, and and so you know, it's to me to me, I think that's what that influence on luck is. Um, and I think we've got a bunch of people listening. Right, we've got Jagjit from Bangalore, and we've got uh, Angelo, Mister Serving. Uh, Hi, Angelo, Mister Serving. On elbow cough. Uh, okay, what uh, that one? That one you got to answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I, I, but, but I mean, back to the luck piece, right? So mm. that really started me on this part to say, hey, if I can understand how to, you know, so and I call this process the return on luck, right? So we got return on investment, return on um, equity, you know, you got a lot of RO, you know, ROI, ROE, RO this, RO that, ROS, return on sales. So I, I, I term this thing return on luck. Um, mm -hmm. And I say, okay, how do we influence this return on luck, luck right? Okay. And, that's, and that's where, you know, I started to see some research actually by this guy, Kromblotz and Levin, right? They say, look, there's no such thing as luck. Luck is actually happenstance. Happenstance isn't something random that affects us, but it's rather something we create out of chance circumstances and chance encounters that run through our lives. So, so For this the benefit of, of the audience, could you define yeah. uh, what, what is happenstance? So, so happenstance, right? It's a, it's a chance occurrence, right? It's an unplanned meeting. It's a misappointment. Um, something that leads our life into unexpected directions and alter our careers and lives, right? So this okay. this this happens this actually happens frequently to everyone. The key difference, right, between lucky people and unlucky is the ability to recognize these opportunities and leverage them. So Tony Fernandez, like you know, there there is a one dollar uh, plane there, you know, so this is an opportunity. But the the unlucky people are the ones who cannot recognize this opportunity. The lucky people can recognize it. I will give you an example, right? So when 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 I was um uh. Uh, in that, uh, I, so I, I was working in GE, and that I, I, I want to I want to remember what you just said. The lucky yeah. ones are the ones that remember that can see the opportunity. The unlucky ones are the ones that cannot. Okay, I just want to pull that for, for later. Okay, go on. Okay, yeah, yeah. So happenstance is all these, you know. Okay, COVID nineteen is a happenstance, right? It just happens, mm. right? To everyone, right? Now, the lucky ones are going to figure out how to take advantage of it. 
and the unlucky ones are going to be the victim by the victims that are going to be victimized by that, lah, right? Um, and we're all COVID, what to do? Right? Okay, we we know at some point in time, all of us, including me, including you know, dear mix, right? You know, yeah, okay, we can sit down, like, oh, ninety percent of business just crumble. Okay, but that that difference is how do you translate that into have into luck, right? That is positive, right? So I I I was going to give you an example of my own personal life. Um, is when, when I was um, in, in, in uh, Connecticut, right? So I got this job, very good job, great boss, everything. I got this opportunity to take on a job um, as um, in, in this as in, in an acquisition, right? To integrate it. Now, I, I didn't realize it, but I, I asked all my friends. Everyone said, get away from that. That thing is uh, poison. You go to Dallas, that's it, you know? Uh, it's horrible job, you know? It's, uh, it's ridiculous. The bosses, they are crazy. They are, you, you won't succeed, right? And... and uh, and I'm like, I just want to go to Dallas because I heard <laughs> okay. there's cowboys there. I mean, oh, the Dallas cowboys, is it? I, I mean, it's like, just come on, man, Dallas. Uh, get me okay. out of this cold, cold winter of Connecticut, right? Um, so so I, I, I signed on, right? And it was a really hard job. And before I left, yeah. I talked to my boss, you know, my, my old boss, um, Mike Petrosali, actually. He's, he's, uh, he's, he sometimes uh, comes in and supports me still um, and, and, you know, and bounce back and a couple other things. So, you know, I was telling Mike, I said, Mike, I, I've got to take this job, you know, and uh, it's going to Dallas. And he said, look, the best jobs you take are the jobs that nobody wants. Because if you succeed in them, you will just, your, your, your career will just kind of, you know, your, your propensity growth is significant. Because people will notice that right. it was a job that nobody wants and you succeeded. Mm -hmm. Now you fail, hopefully you learn something out of it, right? <laughs> and, okay. and, uh, and, and dig yourself out of the pit that you, you may be in, right? Uh, so he sent me reading advice. And the best thing, it was the best thing that happened. It was the worst job I ever had, worst job in my life. Oh, right? okay, okay, okay. But the ton of learning I learned on, 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 on that. Um, another story when I, you know, I was in Dallas, I, 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 I heard this story um, about this lady, Betty Naismith Graham, right? And she was a single mom, poor woman in Dallas. Uh, she was working as a secretary. And she, she always made, type, she was a lousy secretary. So she was typing, this is in the 80s, right? So she was typing and she made a lot of typing errors in the typewriter. Um, okay. and, and, you know, she just, she happened to be an artist, right? Um, and and she, she realized that she's making this type, typing mistakes. She keep having to, you know, put the new paper and type again. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know, in, in, in art, right? We can paint over their mistakes. So she brought white, white paint and she started painting over her mistakes and retyping it, right? Um, and, and, and somebody said, hey, what are you doing? Uh? Hey, that's cool, you know. Uh, and and what, what was that called? And then she said, oh, it's called liquid paper. And uh, essentially, she ultimately, you know, became the founder of what we call liquid paper and became a multimillionaire. Now, people say you're lucky. But here's what happenstance is, right? you got a, you got a something that happens in your, in your life. But because of all the different experiences and the different, you know, different things that you've done, you've been curious about this, curious about that, you're able to then bring all that together and make it lucky, right? Um, so I, I, I see, right? Uh, uh, Dato Nora Manaf is on our show. Well, uh, great to have you. Give you have you on a Saturday night. Uh, thanks for for tuning in. Uh, influence the part you can influence. There's more than enough that you can handle. Would be my view. I agree fully. And uh, she goes on to say, agree. Reminds me of the saying, opportunity knocked, but no one was at home. Absolutely right. Now uh, uh, everyone is now one. Everyone is staying at home, right? So uh, opportunity gonna have a lot of people. Exactly right. So so you know when 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 I did this research on, on luck, right? Uh, you know I started to see so many stories, right? Um, Jim Collins and Martin Hansen, like they, they did this nine year study uh, research, right? Um, on on how extreme business successes uh, were actually in uh, uh, instigated to some extent by luck, right? Okay. Um, they found uh, they found is that both successful businesses and ineffective business, they both had similar amount of good luck, bad luck in comparable amounts. So actually, luck didn't cause extreme success or extreme uh, distress or, or, or failure, right? They found something even more interesting, right? Um, and, 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 and they said this, that there were a couple of reasons why um, companies actually had people in there that, that were triggering an additional ROL or return on luck. Okay. So, so, so they said, like, if there were people in that organization who had the right attitude, with the right behavior, who kind of, as we talked about, the, happen, the, the way they... they they, they kind of, you know, when the happenstance happen, right? Happens, right. They, they were able to manage that in a positive way and bring luck, right? The more people that you have or more lucky people that you have in this organization, the more lucky the organization was, right? Um, and, and so that, 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 you know, drove me to start to say, hey, what are some of those luck 
uh, elements okay. are, and and okay. and uh, you know, if we have time, we can we can we can talk about it. And and Dato Mara yeah, say sure. thank you. Uh, yes, thank you for for being on our show. It's great great to have you uh, listening. You know, um, so great great for anyone who's uh, who's on um, uh, listening. Uh, but and I'd love to hear you know viewers uh, out there. You know what 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 you know. I'm sure many of you have had luck in your life. Um, and if you try to investigate what triggered those luck you might actually find it's related to some of those things we talked about or some of the research that I, I just shared with you guys. Um, Ashraf, um, yeah. what about you? I mean, what were some lucky breaks that you've had in life? And if you break it down, why do you think they happened? I think I need to go back quite a few years first like, to my childhood. And it's, it's just funny that you mentioned that Idris called the 60% divine intervention, right? Because when I was very young, I asked my dad, like, what is prayer to him? So the act of praying or maybe divine intervention, some would call it, right? And he told me that to him, praying is doing. There is no act of prayer greater than, than just doing it. Because prayer is like you're surrendering everything to the universe or whatever, right? You've done everything, just hoping that everything will align uh, your way. And if you don't do anything, you haven't given yourself the best chance of succeeding. Um, I want to go back first. Before I, I share times where I've been lucky, I want to ask you, because you mentioned earlier that opportunities come knocking to everyone. The lucky yeah. ones are the ones that can recognize it and connect mm. the dots. Mm. The unlucky ones just don't notice it. Right? It, just, it just passes them by. That uh, Before mm. that, we also talked about how there's luck that you can control and luck that you cannot control. And luck that you cannot control is genetics. Hmm. Do you think that the ability to connect the dots, is that something that you can control or not? Yeah, it is. Um, so if you think about it, right, um, I, 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 and I, I, I love this book by John Chambers called Connecting the Dots. It's one of my favorite um, books in the last few years. So John Chambers was the former Cisco um, uh, I guess the, the CEO for many years now, he's like uh, president emeritus or something or chairman emeritus. Um, and, and he talks about this very interesting. He says, look, many times, right, there is a game that's being played in a field. A new game starts in a new field, but we are so busy playing the game in our field that we don't notice a new game being played, right? And the reason why we don't notice is because we don't notice little dots that pop up. Now, there's, there's some great research um, called um, Spot the Gorilla. You know, there's a video many years ago yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where you show a video of a gorilla just coming in when people are playing basketball. Now, nobody spots the gorilla. 90% of people don't spot the gorilla. And, and gorilla is like a little dot that comes in because the gorilla comes in, plays basketball. The next day, he comes in and eats one of your teammates. Two days later, he eats three of your teammates. Before long, you are looking at a gorilla and saying, oh, where did this gorilla come from, right? Now, the gorilla always was there for 10 years, 15 years, slowly, you know, starts playing and then slowly gobbling up one teammate, gobbling up another one, and you don't realize it. And the reason why is that we don't have this skill called hyper-awareness, right? And hyper-awareness, right, is, is one of those skills. And, and it goes back to the, the characteristic of return, you know, how do you increase your return of luck, right? You, in, you increase your return of luck, and, and one, I, I've got 10, 10 ways on how you can increase it. But one of the ways we talk about is never eat alone, right? And, and okay. why I say never eat alone, right? It's because when you eat alone, right, you are always by yourself with your own thoughts. When you're with somebody, right, they're going to say something that is different. They're going to say something that may trigger something or they may show you a dot. Now, the dot may not make sense, but if you eat with another person, another person, another person, over time, there mm -hmm. are many dots. Now, how do you make sense? And, and, and hyper-awareness is making sense of the dot. But you cannot make sense of the dot if you don't know what these dots are, right? And, and, you know, I, I, I share a bit of, of, of the research, right? Um, sure. that, that, uh, the, the research that, that um, John Chambers uh, shares a lot, right? And he says that one of the things I think, he says that many times companies don't fail because they are not good or because they are lousy in delivery or customer service or, or, or innovation and so on. They really fail because they fail to spot a market transition. This is very interesting, you know. Um, so there's a market trend. And how do you spot a market trend? So if you're a taxi driver, how would you have spot Uber years before Uber came? You probably should have been, I mean, most taxi drivers should have been, should have been the ones who create um, uh, Uber, right? Uh, but they didn't. It was some person out of the blue, right? Because somebody out of the blue who, who saw these different things come about, um, mm. 
uh, basically saw it. You know, you know, there's a couple of questions. Uh, there's there, there's a couple of uh, comments from audience. Um, <laughs> and and uh, maybe and we've got somebody who disagrees with me on something. So we'll we'll talk about that. You know, I have I have to agree on divine intervention as 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 essentially um, essential, especially when it comes to things that we cannot influence. Um, you agree? You agree, uh, uh, Ashraf, on that? I think it puts you in the best mindset to to continue forward, lah, right? Because otherwise, then then why continue at all? Okay, thanks, Sri. Um, Datu Nora adds, you know, luck got me my job in Intel. I wouldn't have made it to the list to be interviewed based on the assessment, everyone. Um, but luck had it that I got into the buggy transportation transporting candidate, which had a big boss in it as well. Later, found out that I got the interview because he liked my replies to question in the short trip in the buggy, and he asked the manager to interview. And I passed the interview, and so yes, luck. But it's what you do with the luck, right? I mean, in this case of Dato Nora, right? You know exactly, right? We got all these incidences, but many people could have been sitting in the buggy, but she decided to interact, and it happened to be a big boss, and it happened to be, um, uh, you know, it happened to then translate into an opportunity, right? I had the same thing with my interview because it was 1994, and I was mm. interviewing for GE, and um, and and just happened to have the World Cup, so I I've been going around watching World Cup, and this is the worst interviewer. This guy, I remember Ryan. Everyone was coming out crying, literally, <laughs> because he was grilling them, <laughs> grilling them about their life and so on. And and I I later got to know him quite well. He told me he was supposed to grill me on my my high school and my college college experience or something like right? each mm -hmm. of the interviews, uh, seven or eight interviews, each one. So I walked in and he's like, oh, so you play soccer for your university? I'm like, yeah. In fact, I used to play soccer in, in my state in, in, in Malaysia. And, and he's like, yeah, we just had the World Cup. He said, yeah, I went for the games. You too. Oh. And, and we ended up talking one hour about soccer. You found a soccer fan in America. He wasn't a soccer fan. He was a guy who just was interested in the World Cup because the World Cup just happened to be in America. Oh, right? Right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and, 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 and one hour went by and blah, blah, blah. And then I went mm -hmm. off and I'm like, hey, he wasn't that bad. And we didn't we thought we didn't talk anything about what I think he wanted to ask me. He just thought I was a nice guy who could socialize. And, mm -hmm. and uh, okay, I got the job in GE. But um, you know, it 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 is it is what you make out of that opportunity, right? Um, here's very something very interesting. I talked about never eating alone. Um, mm -hmm. but but uh, that's what Nora says. But I like eating alone. <laughs> and, and I think you know, so do I. Uh, but but I think the the point is that um, you know, when we say build your luck, right? One of the things we talk about is. Um, when you, when you, we, we, the, the concept of never uh, eating alone is not about eating alone. Uh, it's about building and maintaining a strong social network, um, okay. including uh, building good relationships with other people. Uh. Um, so it's it's about you know you, you possibly cannot you probably have to eat alone now in COVID, right? Uh, but how do you you know have those extra calls or uh, connection sessions where you can connect with people and talk? You know, um, I want to talk about a couple more things. You know, I want to talk about uh, I want to share. A, a couple of our actions, and I, I'm not sure whether uh, we, we we have uh, some of these actions, but but you know one of the things I think uh, the first the first uh, point uh, you know I, I I you know we found research on ten things you can do to return to increase your return luck. The number mm -hmm. first one was be a believer because there are there are heaps of opportunities in life, um, and you need to be an abundant thinker to believe there are amazing amazing opportunities out there to leverage. See, a negative person generally is a scarce thinker because they 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 think there are not enough opportunities out there. But lucky people, they they think there are opportunities out there. So I think the starting point is to be a believer, right? You want to be a believer. Uh, the 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 the, 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 next, the next piece, right? I very quickly talked about it is is to be aware. Now now this is part of what hyper awareness. You, when you are aware, right? How, how be aware meaning ask questions, explore your surrounding. Lucky people, you know kind of are aware of what is happening out there. And, and I realized this, you know, the more I talk to very lucky senior leaders, right? They, they seem to be, they, they have this ability to know what's happening around them and they need to know what's a dot. And we talk to them like, Roshan, have you thought about this? Have you done this? Have you done? I'm like, okay, how you, you know, they, okay. they're super aware of, of stuff around them, you know? Um, okay. So they make you feel how you make me feel. Like. I got, got it. Uh, okay. I, I'm going to take a break. So there, there were three things I talked about, you know, it's mm. uh, um, be a believer, uh, be aware, and uh, never eat alone. I'll, I'll get to the other sessions, uh, the other points I want to make uh, in a bit. Uh, but Jagjit has a question um, or, or maybe a comment. We just finished an assignment in Chennai. I had to place my teams elsewhere. As we did not have any other assignment, I lined up meetings with nine organizations today. All but two are placed. Luck is trying. It may happen today or tomorrow. Just reminded of Soshiro Honda, who wrote mm. some 8,000 dealers of cycles. No, in, uh, no internet or email, and he got response from scores of dealers helped him raise money and created luck. 
unbelievable. I love Sushira Honda. In fact, I wrote an article about Sushira Honda and, um, and, and it's not about luck, you know, it's actually about one element of luck, which I'll talk about, uh, which is Sushira Honda had the best smile in the world. He just smiled and smiled and smiled. Uh, and, 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 and this was the, the point I was making earlier is be a believer, right? Because when you're a believer, you smile. So, he, you know, Sushira Honda is unbelievable. He had his Honda shop, right? Uh, his bicycle shop and later his motorcycle shop, right? They were bombed twice, completely bombed, right? Destroyed. And he, okay, la, 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 let's build it again. Bombed again. Let's build it again. I mean, that that is awesome, right? And uh, it's interesting that uh, Jagjit, uh, thanks for bringing up uh, Sushira because uh, he's, I'm a big fan of Sushira. Um, and, and, uh, and, and for those who don't know, Sushira is the founder of Honda Motors. Uh, it started out as a bicycle. He's a bicycle guy. Who ended up uh, building motorcycles and and later on uh, ultimately become the king of cars, you know. Right, okay. Ashraf. Sorry, I am talking no, no, too much. No. Now I want to go back because so many people talking. You also talking about the time you got hired thanks to luck. Nora also talking about the time she got hired thanks to luck. I guess I should talk about the time I got hired by the do. by the greatest greatest company on earth, lah. Deuteronomics, right? Absolutely, right. <laughs> uh, who was the one who rejected me at first? Uh, could have been me, you know. But Robert, I, I, I think so, so, yeah. was. Okay. so like what happened was I passed a few of the interview sessions, right? But then that final session, like you didn't want to see me. Um, I but, didn't want to see you. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I mean to, to be fair, right? I, if I empathize with you, uh, okay, lah, can I understand, lah, can forgive you. Lah, okay? One year later, no more bitterness with you. Eh? But uh, at the time, I just, you know, try and maintain good attitudes, be friendly. And the person who's in charge at the time, Farah, you're there. Right, just, I don't know, I guess just endear myself to her. That was the strategy, strategy in my head. And she did invite me to come back and try out PE, right? And, uh, well, yeah, went through the hell that is PE. And then became the editor anyway. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there is something uh, interesting about that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that the journey to getting there was a much more delightful and colorful journey than sure. having of course. to go of there, course. to go there straight away, right? Um, yeah. so, Notice so what's I, that I, definition of delightful is a bit different. Uh, the, uh, pain is, is one of those delights in the world, you know. So, I yeah. <laughs> think people are also self-aware. Blind spots make for loss of fear. Absolutely, right? So, I mean, we are a LinkedIn user who, who, who shares about uh, self-awareness and uh, um, you know, one of the things uh, I write about in another article, and you can Google, it's called CEO disease. Um, one of the biggest diseases that CEOs have um, is this uh, LOSA disease, uh, uh, the lack of self-awareness, right? LOSA. So I call this the LOSA disease or the CEO disease. Um, and, and the reason is because they're so high up the chart, um, most of the troops, right, don't want to give them real information. So they will feed them with what they think they want to hear, right? And, and I think Colin, Colin Powell once talked about it, right? And he said that, look, uh, when the moment the generals stop giving you or your, 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 your generals stop giving you the information or stop telling you what's happening on the ground in a realistic way, right? That's the moment you've lost the battle, right? Um, and I, I thought that was very wise of, of, of him, right? But I think self-awareness is, uh, is, is one of those uh, uh, key, key elements, right? Um, okay. that, that, that is important, right? Now, there, there's a couple more, you know, I, I think for, for time, I want to I wanna cover, you know, we talked about be aware and be a believer. I don't, mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't think the posters are out for the rest. But, you know, one, one of the things I say is be action biased, right? I, I think many lucky people are very action biased. Uh, inaction is the surest part to failure. Yes. Sometimes trying and failing is fine, but you learn something in the process. And last year, a lot of things that we did at Liramix was me just being action biased and trying to just try stuff. But today, now that these actions have yielded either a failure or some form of result, we are, we are able to then say, okay, let's follow up and go deeper into those areas that we, we want to do. So, so be a believer, be action biased, you know, be aware, never eat alone. Uh, another piece is make the most of unplanned events. This is the happenstance that we talked about, right? right. The unexpected right. constantly bombards us, right? But, but you need to learn to love spontaneity. Enjoy it, right? New opportunities may unfold when we actually least expect it. Um, so be a believer. Yeah, be COVID. A Sorry, go ahead. COVID. Spontaneous. Absolutely, right? COVID. Yeah. COVID. You know, it's it's a I, I you know I haven't been able to make sense of it in, in a real way, but I do know. I mean, you know, one of the biggest jokes in the technology space. Whenever I, I meet up with Karamjit Singh on the tech talk, 
that we do, right? Yeah. The things that he always tells me is like, you know, uh, the biggest digital transformations in most companies didn't happen because of a CTO being really smart. It happened because of COVID-19, right? So we, we, we do know like a lot of digital transformations in companies happen because of, uh, uh, of COVID-19. So, you know, there, there's some, there's some uh, good to that. So, you know, be a believer, be action bias, make the most of unplanned events, you know, be aware, never eat alone. I, and here's another one that's very interesting. Don't be afraid to say yes. You know, there's this movie that Jim Carrey, uh, it's called The Yes Man. You remember that movie? Uh, Jim Carrey was made to say yes to everything. Uh, and because he said that, right? And you, you watch the movie, right? It's a really hilarious uh, uh, movie, right? Uh, because he said yes to everything, right? Um, he started to be lucky. <laughs> um, okay. It's uh, absolutely funny, right? Uh, how saying yes, you know, most of the time I say, go say no, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So be a believer, be action bias, make the most of unplanned events, be aware, be, 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 don't be afraid to say yes. Never mm -hmm. eat the load. Um, and, and a couple more I want to talk about is overcome self-sabotage. Sometimes our mm -hmm. greatest enemy is ourselves. I don't, don't beat ourselves, you know, with negativity or disruption uh, or, or destructive self-talk, right? Um, stop using words like I can't. Uh, I think a lot of us do that. A uh, um, couple more I want, to, I want to just add before yeah. I end. Um, you know, number eight, I think is be curious. Don't be afraid to ask. Uh, take risks. Curiosity actually never killed the cat, you know. Um, cats somehow never died of curiosity. Uh, it's just a Ooh. saying I do not know. Oh, you English people, you English majors probably know uh, 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 that uh, number nine. Um, so be, be curious uh, and don't be afraid to ask. Uh, the next one, help others and ask for help. You know, I, I realized that the more you help, and this is what Idris Jala was talking about, right? You know, one of the things he, he told me, he said, look, Roshan. So I asked him, how do you get to the good side of the divine? Then he said, look, you help others, then your luck will be increased. The more you help, the more the luck will be increased. And I realized this, you know, and you watch criminal shows like Blacklist and so on. Uh, I don't know mm. why I'm talking about criminals today, but you know, all these people, they help, they help people. And they, you have a, you have a chit shit, right? You, you owe me, right? You owe oh, me. Oh, that one is it. Okay. Um, okay. But, but, um, but, 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 you know, that, that's kind of. So boss, you, you walk around and, with a chit shit, is it? Like of people who owe you favors? No, I don't, I don't. But I think, I think what you realize is that, and I find this very interesting. You see, when I help people, right? Not because I, I, I'm expecting their help. And, and this is very interesting. I may have helped somebody like really 15, 20 years ago. I have no idea, no recollection of helping. And I probably just connected them to someone who, who helped them get a job, for example, you know, passing down a resume or, or, or you know, when, when they were stuck in GE, I remember this many times, I would be HR, right? At, at some point, I became a HR person. And I know I, know I was in Japan and, and, and I remember many times these Japanese employees they would tell me, you know, I hate it in GE and it's, I want to leave and so on. I'm like, okay, let me help you find a job outside of GE. Uh, even though I know I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Um, and, and in the process, right? Okay. Years later, right? I'm like, I, I literally, I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in Japan and somebody's like, hey, Roshasan, you know, and then they come and they buy me a meal. I'm like, I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. I, I'm just worried that it might be somebody. I, I, I know I didn't poison anyone, so I, I'm not so worried they might poison me. But you know, it's, it's very interesting that. You get total strangers, you know, um, you come up to you and say, thank you for helping me. I'm like, okay, I can't quite recall it because, um, because maybe I've helped, you know, many others, mm -hmm. but, but, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting, right? Um, and before I go to the last one, I just want to get to other comments. Without trivializing the loss and pain, I do love many of the unprecedented, um, uh, that, 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 that COVID-19, right? The silver linings that COVID-19 uh, 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 offered, right? Um, so so that, that's interesting. And, and you know, Jagjit uh, is, is, is using his luck now. Like he, happened to be, uh, he happened to be on, on the show with Dato Nora Manaf, who's uh, from Maybank, right? And he says, Dato Nora Manaf, this is an elevator pitch. Uh, like this, you know? <laughs> so he's, okay. taking, he's taking advantage of it, right? So there you go, Nora. You've got, a, you've got someone who's uh, connecting with you uh, um, and, 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 and everything. Yeah, he's really making their luck on the show. Eh? Not bad. Yeah, so the show yeah. is... Uh, He's being lucky for for Jagjit here, and uh, and uh, um, and 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 he's also connecting with Sri and say Sri here. I would not agree with it fully. Faith is important, but, but <laughs> so Jagjit, you're the man. You're you're learning. Jagjit never eats alone. We know that already. <laughs> so help others and ask for help. And the last one, right? Uh, and and this was from from Ichu uh, I, I I added this, and and if, it, I I found this in many. Um, you know, if you read the autobiography of Ben Franklin, or Jeff Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, you know, they talk talk about this, right? Pray often and do good always, right? The more good you do. So it's different from helping others, right? Um, this one is just do good, right? Um, you know, the, 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 the many people turn uh, to a greater power to help them increase their luck. 
you know, some say a prayer before they start their day or, or do the meditation or, or positive vibes. Uh. And, and, you know, this is something Idris Jala, uh, Dato Sri Idris Jala, he reiterated me uh, a, gazillion, a gazillion times, right? When you do good often, good will befall you. You know, karma has a way of rewarding do-gooders, right? Um, and then, you know, there's a popular saying that goes, you, you make your own luck. You really make your own luck, right? So, and, and you know, I think today's show has been on luck. Uh, mm-hmm. But essentially, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's um, you know, I, I, I kind of always say good and, good and bad luck happens to everyone. Mm-hmm. The constantly lucky people recognize the luck, seize it, and they make the most of it, right? Um, so, so I, I um, you know, I, I think um, we've been rambling around for about 30 plus minutes now. Yeah, I, I enjoy the rambling, man. <laughs> I it. So, so, you know, for, for, for those, I think some people, you know, somebody brought up uh, Soshiro, right? Um, you know, there's an article I wrote called Smile Like Soshiro. You can Google it. Just go to Google and, and type Smile Like Soshiro. Um, and, and it talks about uh, Soshiro Honda and how he went through. Um, it's amazing. I mean, you, you would, you would, you, you, you know, when you, when you read it, right, you'd be like, the research I did on Honda blew me, right? Uh, because it's like bad luck after bad luck after bad luck after bad luck after bad luck, right? But this guy just smiled and smiled and smiled and kept smiling, right? Uh, and maybe, maybe you know, Ashraf, next episode, if we have time, maybe we can uh, we can talk about Soshiro, you know? Sure, sure. Um, but, but, because uh, the, the smiling wasn't just like smiling of someone who... I think you mentioned your article, it's not just blind optimism, right? It's very focused. Not, right, yeah. right, right. Because yeah. you know... It's, you know right. it's really those 10 things that I talked about, right? Having the right attitude, right? Because when you have the right attitude, you know that things will turn around. If you have that abundance mind, if you are a believer, right? That things will turn around. And, and you know, it's interesting, uh, uh, about a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, somebody, or is it a few days, uh, a couple of, I, I remember, time is relative now. Like, every day is a working day for me now. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> somebody asked me like hey how are you doing man you know how's the business and all i'm like good man and it's like oh, you see much better in a better space i'm like i'm not stressed at all you know uh we, we have this product called happily right and every day um uh, in happily in our, in our office all of us uh, go on happily and we there's a question that's pop up every day right uh how do you feel stress unstressed you know blah are you happy so i'm like first i ask you how happy are you i'm like super happy right the second question is, are you stressed? I'm like, not stressed at all, right? And and uh, and, and every time I, we mean, you know, my, my co-founder is like, you bluffing, right? You you got this loan, you got this, you got all these issues that are surrounding you, right? Um, I'm sure you are super stressed, right? Then I'm like, no, actually, I, I, I sleep even better now, right? Uh, even though I have all these things that are compounding you, right? Because I'm a believer, right? I really am, right? I, I think I'm a much bigger believer today. Um, and, and, um, and, um, you know, so, and I, I see, uh, the, 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 the live interaction between, uh, Dato Nora and, and Jack yeah, going, networking uh, happening in the, the net, oh, message I networking, see. you know, and, uh, and Sri says, good work, uh, good job, uh, Ashraf, well done. Um, you know, uh, and, and Jack Jit's t- talking about Matsushita now, man, this guy is the Japanese man, man. All right. <laughs> Matsushita's story is just like Honda. He never believed in luck. He had no good luck. He is the only one who survived the family now. All right, man, I'm going to work on it. This weekend, my job is to research Matsushita and check him out. Thanks for that, Jagdeep. I, I enjoyed the conversation actually with the audience as much as uh, the conversation with you, Ashraf. Uh, it's, yeah, been, you. Uh, it's been an awesome, uh, awesome thing. Um, if Boss, there, I just ask you one thing real quick. Uh, okay, just for the folks who don't know, like, Happily is an app that we have that connects the employee's feedback to managers. Boss, you're the CEO of the company. Who gets feedback about your emotions and stuff? Yeah, that's that's. I, I'm still asking the question. You know? <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm answering all this question, right? But who's getting uh, who's getting all this? Oh, right? okay, so okay. I, I I I think somebody in, in happily some some developer, you know, our <laughs> happily, potentially our C- CTO Sashi, he's like reading all these things about me, uh, and and my okay, my okay. responses. Right? I it goes into this uh you know like the twilight zone right I, I think it just goes into some sort of a uh, twilight zone uh, but but you know um you you can check out um happily um on on uh, on uh, Ramis.org. Mm-hmm. uh you can check that out it's, a, it's an awesome app right it's one of the I, I think one of the coolest app and uh and and i won yes finally i won uh i won the 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 the, the, the gymnastics or the no what do you call it the athletic running, track, right? running, track, running track the running track right in, in happily we we all of our employees uh, run every day and uh we see who uh, run the most, and uh, COVID nineteen made me a winner finally because uh, I guess I'm the only one who dares to go out and run at six a.m. and and at nine p.m. or ten p.m. at night. Um, well, I, I used I used to run also, and then I realized you know, I was just running from my problems, so I stopped. <laughs> you're just running from problems. Okay, now uh, now that you understand how to re- to increase your return on luck, you don't have to run away from your problems. Eh? Yeah. Um. <laughs> so Ashraf, 
Thank you so much for this session. It's been absolutely thank thrilling. Thank I think in the future you. sessions, we'll be having other authors. So we've got mm. authors. Like, if you go to LeoRamis.com, there's authors like Simon Sinek, John Maxwell, there's Jack Welsh. I, unfortunately, we can't get him on the show. Uh, he's passed away, but you know he's got some great articles he wrote in the past. Um, who are, who are the other authors? David like, Wee. David Wee, yes, from yeah. uh, uh, former Chief Learning Officer Johnson Johnson. Um, mm -hmm. Juliet Fun, I think, is a new uh, author that we just got on board. A uh, great researcher. Uh, yes. some, some some amazing stuff. Who are some of the others? I know you had Travis, uh, Travis Bradbury. Travis Bradbury. Uh, uh, who are the, some of the other authors that that uh, that that's on Um that you remember? Uh, editor. Some that I can shout out really good right now would be my favorite lah. Honestly, is some someone called Bernard Bernard Lee. Bernard Lee, yeah. Bernard uh, Lee because he was the first author that when I was when I started, like, he's the first author I secured, and he used to be an ex. He's an ex pastor, and now he's a coach. Wow. So yeah, so okay. he talked about the power of faith in leadership. I think, wow. I, think I, I think it ties in quite well with uh, you know divine intervention and stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's really touching. And, 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 and he's uh, like a consultant now with McKinsey or yeah. something, right? Or, right. Uh, no, he's I, he's I, got I, his own firm, Invigorate. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, but then here's the free plug. Okay, Invigorate Consulting, if you guys want. Okay, okay there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Traffic go up. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So with that, you know, you can check out Happily, I think, on LeeRamix.org. Um, you know, it's been exciting. I think next week we'll come back. Um, you know, we'll probably do one or two more weeks with uh, with some of my articles and then we'll try and get some of the other authors on. Uh, give us some feedback if you think this time. Uh, Bernard Lee, <laughs> <laughs> well done. Incredible. Oh, wow. okay. So maybe next week we'll get Bernard on and we'll talk about his article uh, on on uh, on, uh, on uh, .com, uh, the show and uh, give us some feedback. It's Saturday, 8.30, a good time or not a good time. Um, let us know and uh, we'll, we'll be talking. We'll be talking uh, and Bernard says, ha, 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 ha. I'll, I'll keep going. Thank you. <laughs> and, and so there you go. Bernard, Ashraf, the editor, is a fan. Unbelievable. He he, he puts your article above mine. So you know where I rank. Ashraf just upset that I made him uh, fight to get to become an editor and Go through that that crazy process of uh, maybe, hiring. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He's never gonna forgive me, but anyway, we'll we'll we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, you say you say like you go to Tokyo, no one's gonna poison you, right? Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't think so, man. You you are you're you're officially working here, so uh, we'll see <laughs> that. So, so thank you, everyone. Uh, we've been live on liveronics.com, uh, a show featuring the best writers, uh, and and yeah. a show featuring the best content of uh, liveronics.com. It's been great having you all on the show. Uh, we'll see you. Buy it buy from me. Have a great weekend. Ashraf, your final words as we close today? Leaderonomics.com for the best leadership content this side of the Indian Ocean. Right. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.